Welcome back, Home Fries. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to watch um, American Pie with Don McLean in it. That's crazy. Uh, doing that with uh, Home Free. You know, he must like the group because it's not really in his character to like, what, 99% of music that's done in the last 50 years <laughs> other than a couple of people that he likes. <laughs> so he must really like them. Uh, things I will note... Don McLean's a great melody writer. You know, and this was definitely uh, when we got to really see it in American Pie. Um, you know, he's really a folk singer. I dabbled in a bit of rock and then a tad bit of pop. Um, I'm not going to go into his lyrics too much. Go into a Don McLean lyrics too far as a fool's errand. You know, it's kind of like when he wrote a song about Starry Night, right? Like, and he's also made references to like I like I don't make music, I am a musician. You have to see the whole picture. You have to see it's not just the lyrics. The lyrics don't tell the whole story in his music and stuff like that. Um and you know, there's other things you could say about him. I don't want to get controversial or anything like that or make you guys think I don't like him. It's, it's great music. Obviously this is an American classic. Even though underneath this is boulders and boulders of dreary, like, terrible stuff. Like, Don McLean is the epitome of an artist that eternally, internally suffered and then outwardly created music. Like, like his stuff does come from pain, and, and you can see it. And that doesn't sound like that, right? Because people, like, remember American Pie as, like, oh, yes, back in 19... 73 when I'm in my Chevelle or something and you're jamming uh, American Pie and stuff like that. I didn't realize my face was in the thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get, let's get into it. I think this is going to be great. It was interesting to see that he, that he's in it. Let's just, let's just go. This is a long song. A long, long time ago I can still remember how that music used to make me smile And I knew if I had my chance That I could make those people dance And maybe they'd be happy for a while February made me shiver With every paper I delivered Bad news on the doorstep I couldn't take one more step Ooh, Them backing Mr. McLean here With him singing it That really hits different than like Your studio version or anything like that Oh, such, so interesting this version is like so interesting to me right now. It sounds so good. I can't remember if I cried when I read about his widowed bride, but something touched me deep inside. The day, the music died. So bye. American pie drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys are drinking whiskey and rye, singing, This'll be the day that I die. This'll be the day that I just want to point something out here. Look at every member's face. And this is this is something that's really distinct to the song, and there's not many songs out there that do this. Really, the, th the thing that the thing that I see, look at, uh, you know, there obviously we have the original artist here, and then look at his and then everybody's faces, especially when we go back to the chorus with um, for American Pie. Everybody draws something different out of this song. There's there's no single meaning to this song. It is eight minutes long. It is a tornado. It is a roller coaster. It, it encompasses political stuff from the 60s, 
you, you, you know, early 70s or whatever. And, and it's bleak at times, but somehow there's, it's not even hope. But, but it's just, there's just this, this exasperation of, of it, you know, not, not it is what it is, but it's just like, you know, <laughs> there's something else. It, it, his, his music is really hard, especially his music at this time is really hard to, to pinpoint. Um, especially since he doesn't like to pinpoint it himself. Let, let's keep going. I know it's a long, long time. Long Did time. I die? <laughs> Before we go into the, the chorus there, his name is Adam Chance, right, guys? That's Adam Chance. I think I think he killed that part. I thought I thought that that sounded great. That was great. I know I said I wasn't talking about lyrics, and then I did. That we're we're back to the home for you guys. Don't worry. I, I thought he killed that part. I thought that was really good. I really really enjoyed that. Singing bye bye Miss American Pie. Told me Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Whiskey and rye Singing this will be the day that I die This will be the day that I die Now for ten years we've been on our own And moss grows fat on a rolling stone That's not how it used to be When the jester sang for the king and queen In a coat he borrowed from James Is his name Austin? I uh, see, I got I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, I think he did equally as good as Adam Chance here. And, and the, the thing that I l love looking at with this song is how they convey the, the lyrics and how they convey this. Do you know? I'm not sure how people. Do you know how hard it would be to sing this song with, like, with him? You know, unless he secretly told him, like, this is kind of how I thought when I thought about these verses and stuff like that. Like, like, really sit in, 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 in like, it's, it would be, it would be, it would be so hard. Like, what he's singing right now? What, what does it really mean? You know, stuff like that. So it is so interesting to see what people pull out, out of this, out of this song. I don't think there's a wrong answer, by the way. I, I, I really, this is, this is, uh, really enjoyable for me. Stole his thorny crown. The courtroom was adjourned. But no verdict was returned. And while Lyndon read a book on Marx, the quartet practice in the park. And we sang dirges in the dark. Can I just chime in here and say that the background beatbox is so good that I forgot that it was all acapella? Like, like no joke. I literally just remembered. That's probably Adam Rip in the back. Dang, I should have noticed that when I when I came in. But I, 
So, as you, if you guys seen the other videos, I'm biased now. I'm I am still Team Beard. Uh, I st I still love Rob. I love I love his voice. Standouts standouts for this. I don't know. Like I feel like that's the first one that I really really noticed. The other Adam, I think his that name is Adam Chance at, at the very beginning. But to be honest, with, but still, I'm still Team Beard, guys. I, I thought that part was phenomenal. And I know you guys are like, oh, they're all good. You don't have to, like, pick out one. No, I want to pick out one. <laughs> I think the guy's like Austin or whatever. Uh, but it might, have be, it might be Adam in the background that for I think is a testament to how good that background is uh, f for the uh, for the drums. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Don't be Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old bars are drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, This will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Oh, and there we were all in one place. A generation lost in space. With no time left to start. Who's doing who's doing the bass part there? If if Tim's not doing it, who's doing it? I, I'm missing something there. He, he came in. He he can come in wherever he wants, I guess. High, low, whatever. Start again. So come on, Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack flash that on a candlestick, cause I'm sorry to be honest with you. I just forgot that I was recording. I was jamming out. I was. I don't know if you guys haven't clipped off the video, oh, let me know if, if you got this part. I was just sitting here like jamming out. My bad, guys. My bad. Uh, <laughs> commentary. Obviously, I really enjoy it. <laughs> Let's get back into it. This will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. I met a girl who sang the blues. And I asked her for some happy news. But she just smiled and turned away. And I went down to the sacred store Where I'd heard the music years before But the man there said the music wouldn't play Okay 
can I just say that he sounds fantastic in here. He sounds fantastic. Um, if you guys don't know, he has actually he has a YouTube channel, and he posts on stuff now. Stuff now, and there is some stuff that you know is a bit rough. Like, like if you ever listen to him play blues, like obviously he's a great musician and everything like that. Don't get me wrong, but in here he sounds really, really good. I hope that didn't sound like a criticism. I'm not criticizing him. He's just, there's certain things he's, he's phenomenal and other things he's just great or good at. In the streets, the children screamed. The lovers cried and the poets dreamed. But not a word was spoken. The church bells all were broken. And the three men I admire most Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost They caught the last train for the coast The day The music Died And they were singing Bye-bye, Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry Them good old Boys are drinking whiskey and rye, singing this'll be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. That was, that was great. Actually, the ending was very good. This is such a long song. and it, You know how hard it is to write something where you can keep someone's attention for eight minutes? That's amazing. There's a part in there that I forgot to point out. I wish I had made a mental note of it, and then I forgot when the next time I paused it. Oh, I, wish, I wish I knew exactly where it was. Ooh, if, if somebody knows... Okay, if somebody knows where it is in... It, Wait, is it right right here, right here, right here. See right here? They put matchsticks underneath them. Right? That's because they're about to burn everything down. <laughs> right? <laughs> Everything's going to crap. American society in the sixties is going to crap. He's gonna just burn it all down, start all over again. No, I'm just joking. But for, but for real. Like I can't believe, I don't know whose idea it was to put matchsticks here. But, but I, to me, that was a key that somebody who's producing it, somebody that was doing it, whether, I don't know if it was, you know, a collaboration on the video or if Don McLean just came in or how much anybody had stuff. But to me, what symbolizes that somebody somebody knows the song like pretty well are these matchsticks to be honest i could be wrong on that i'm wrong all the time guys i just really enjoy watching this stuff thank you guys for uh coming out and thank you again for all the home fries for watching me uh this is such a long one because it's such a long video all right i appreciate it guys have a good one